Hello, my little worms. I'm Day, and welcome back to Halfling Versus, the show where we put our most terrifying and vicious adversaries against one small hairy boy named Jeremy. And today we are fighting yet another secret unit. I wasn't wrong in the last video, it is another one. Uh, we're fighting the Banshee. Uh, so let me just uh, open the journal. Um, so for Banshee, we're looking for dots, projector, ghost orb, and fingerprints. Uh, everyone make sure to remember that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would zoom in on the unit, but it's like, eh, what's the point? It's, it's just back there. It's the random, like, chain that we keep seeing moving past. <laughs> Woo! And now let's go unlock said unit. Seriously, that does just take a little bit longer than I expected to. Every time. <laughs> so, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? It's done! Anyway, the Banshee has been unlocked. Alright, let's see what this unit can do. <laughs> oh god. Time to start testing. Is it Drownable? It is nuts! Crap. The tree strategy does not work. Oh. God. This is going to require a lot of further testing. Allow me to explain the primary problem I'm having with the Banshee. Wait a second. Wait for it. There it is. The Banshee does not require line of sight to kill you and has a massive range. How do I fight that? <laughs> None of my strategy will work against that. <gasps> ah. Alright, I have found something exploitable that we might actually be able to use to beat this Banshee. So I've placed Jeremy up here just for the time being uh, so that you won't move too much as I show you this. Uh, where did I put it? There we go. So the thing I learned about the Banshee is that it seems to head in a straight line direction towards uh, Jeremy. Since Jeremy's in the lighthouse, it goes there and then just crashes straight into this wall and then won't move. So then what happens if we instead have the Banshee heading towards Jeremy with a body of water in the way? Deep enough that even when they're floating, they'll still take damage. And so to achieve this, we simply place the Banshee there. We place Jeremy here. And now, let the battle commence! So, so long as it doesn't get close enough to be able to trigger its ability, it should just go in the water and die. Just gotta keep backing up and give it a few seconds. You probably won't make it out. And there you go! <laughs> the unit that seemed a little impossible for a bit there, since I have been testing various ways for about an hour now. But yeah, it's, it's doable just because it goes in a straight line towards you. <laughs> That, that was actually exploitable, even when it could attack me even without eyesight. It still has a range to it. If it had a larger range that was like as big as this water and could kill me from the other side, it would not be possible. But it worked. Victory! I'm gonna bew them all. Bew, 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 bew. A seven nation bew couldn't bew me back. They're gonna bew it off, bew, 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 taking their bew right behind my bew. And I'm bewing to my bew at night because I bew forget. <laughs> Wait, what? Bew, 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 bew. Back and forth through my bew behind a cigar bew. <laughs> bew, 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 bew. And the bew coming from my eyes says bew it alone. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> what was any of that? What, what does the bew have to do? I don't know. <laughs> How am I even spelling the word bew anyway? B-E-W? Like pew, but with a B? <laughs> Maybe. That potentially makes sense. And now that I've uh, referenced it in this bit, I now have to include that previous clip that I just randomly did. Uh, <laughs> good job, me. Anyway, the, the Banshee went quite well in the end. Uh, it was seeming a little impossible. And then, somehow, I managed to find a solution. Though, it's still a little sad that I... Like, it didn't require a lot of like, effort on my part to then achieve the solution. I just kind of had to stay still on the rock. <laughs> I would have preferred if I had to, you know, walk over to the lighthouse to try to do it. But the only problem with that is it was impossible to get the Banshee to actually reach that point where it would walk to the water. It would just get caught on buildings because I'd have to spawn it far enough back that I'd have time to make it to the lighthouse. Which just didn't really work. So I, I just ended up having to have Jeremy spawning at the lighthouse to do it. <sighs> Very disappointing, isn't it? 
Anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, and why not subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and ring that notification bell. It does something and I still don't know what. And follow me on Twitter for updates and to see my thumbnails in a larger size, as well as announcements of streams whenever those come back. <laughs> and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one against whatever unit that will be. Do you want me to check? I can check for you. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes I decide to check and other times I don't. Uh, so we just did the Banshee. It's the Scarecrow. Oh no. Oh, that's one of the summoning units, isn't it? Oh crap. That one might be a bit of a pain. But I, I'm sure we can do it. That that's, that's, doesn't sound not doable, at least. So I believe in us. We can beat the Scarecrow. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next one against the Scarecrow. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody, and a roll the outro. I gave that bastard what he deserved a funeral. Fit for a king. <laughs>